Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set up the IVMS 4500 CCTV app for Hype Vision cameras. First thing to do is download the IVMS 4500 app or the iHike app from the App Store. Once it's installed, just click on it, open it up, it will give you a load of blank squares. First thing you do is go to the top left corner, circle with the three stripes. Once that's impressed it will open up another little screen to the left and um, select the word where it says devices that will give you a list of any sites that you've got and if you want to add one then you'll press the plus symbol if you want to delete one you just swipe it to the left and press the delete button so we're going to add a site I'm going to run with manual adding because that's probably the most easiest hit manual adding now the first uh, we're going to go with an IP domain which is essentially just a, an IP address that we're going to put in here um, the first thing that you need to put in is give the site a name so we're going to call this one just Eclipse Security it can be anything you want just so that you can identify which site it is um, there's a number of register modes uh, the most common is uh, IP domain so just leave it as that uh, the address is the external IP address that you're going to do uh, that you're going to use to gain access to the CCTV cameras. Um, you have an internal IP address which is for the inside of the network and there's an external one which is when you're coming in from outside. So you'll need the external IP address. And when you're setting this up, um, we suggest that you're outside, you, you turn off your Wi-Fi so that you're using your 3 or 4G connection to try and set this up. So tap in the external IP address. I'm going to use the uh, our internal one here because it's faster. So that's what it'll look like. Uh, the port number you'll get from your, your installer or advisor and what that is. Um, ours is 8001, but quite often we use 8181 or 7171. Uh, username. This is what we have set up just for demonstration purposes. Uh, once you've put in the, uh, the IP address, the port number, username and the password, top right hand corner, press the a uh, little icon which has got like a it's supposed to be a save key it's probably supposed to be a compact disc or something uh, okay so once you've pressed that it'll connect to the um, CCTV system you'll see that we've got nine cameras on this unit and um, down the bottom it's got start live view if you press that it'll bring up all of your cameras and you can select the various different views whatever you want so 1, 4 or 9, there's no point with 16 because we don't... Well, you can use a 16 view and you can connect to different systems if you need to. So you can stream multiple systems through this app map, so it's pretty clever. Um, okay, so now to go to playback. Top left corner, press the three stripes with the circle. Um, if you go to remote playback, you'll see that you've got th four boxes there. One of them has got um, a yellow square around it. If you right in the middle, press the plus key, select the the, the unit that you want to stream video from um, I'm gonna pick a camera and this is some video from 6 o'clock in the evening and all the little blue stripes that are down below are video which has been triggered by motion so that you can scan across and play back. This is a pan tilt zoom camera by the way which um, it tracks vehicles as they pass by so your, your cameras are probably static and they'll, they'll be in the one spot. Okay down the very bottom on the left hand side is um, the a little camera button so you can snapshot and put um, an image into your phone and you'll find that just down under picture and video so that'll be it. There, There's the image. Okay, so really that's just live view, which streams all your cameras. Double click on it and it'll take it back to, or press the number 4 key or, or 9. Um, you've got remote playback, where you select whatever camera it is that you wish to play back. And just scroll on the bottom and it'll play the video. And then any pictures that you save will be on the, the recorder itself and in the app itself here. And that is about it.